Do you know how secure communications works, especially in the field of Internet of Things, called IoT? Imagine a household with several electronic devices, such as a mobile, loudspeakers, washing machine, and a laptop. These devices are connected to a network which routes device messages over a different number of hops to the destination. Due to the external internet connectivity, these devices are also able to connect to devices outside your home network, or they may communicate with authorized persons or devices, such as a washing machine. Such remote control determines one of the main ideas of Internet of the Things. However, upon communicating across the internet, several decisions have to be made. What devices to be used? What communication medium to be used? Wi-Fi? Radio? Which protocols are supported and used in those devices? And finally, most importantly, what type of data has to be transmitted? Usually, sensible information, such as a login, a name, or even an identity, is associated with every type of data. Thus, how can privacy and security be ensured? One of the solutions applied is called encryption. Meet Alice and Bob. Alice likes Bob very much and throws a party today. She wants Bob to be there and sends him an invitation to the party. In this case, the invitation content can be considered sensitive, as it is only addressed to Bob. However, this invitation on the way to Bob could be read by everyone, if not secured. Today, Alice uses her mobile and thus the internet to send the invitation. In order to secure the data, Alice and Bob can apply the principle of symmetric encryption. This means that Alice and Bob are using the same key to decrypt and encrypt the invitation message. Now we assume Chris who is also throwing a party and wants Bob to come to his party. Thus, Chris interrupts the communication between Alice and Bob in the way that he eavesdrops Alice's message. Under the assumption that Chris gets hold of the key used by Alice and Bob, he will be able to read Alice's invitation, change the content and send it to Bob. As an unintended result, Alice will be alone at 7pm at her place and Bob will party together with Chris. An alternative solution in securing data in transit is to use asymmetric encryption or public key cryptography. Here, Alice and Bob each own a key pair, consisting out of a private key and a public key respectively. Now, to encrypt the invitation, Alice uses Bob's public key and only Bob alone is able to decrypt it with his private key. Also, Alice can sign her invitation with her private key so Bob can assure the invitation is originating from Alice, because only her public key matches the sign. We have seen how to secure communications with encryption. Technically, encryption demands sufficient bandwidth, processing power and memory. But the field of IoT mostly deals with resource-constrained devices. Thus, IoT needs to use the lightest and fastest protocols, which differ from the normal protocol stack, but the encryption algorithms are the same. Algorithms for asymmetric encryption include RSA, Diffie-Hellman and Elgamal. For symmetric encryption, AES, TripleDes and Blowfish are used. For signing and secure hashes, algorithms used are SHA, MD2, MD4, MD5 and Haval. Other technology choices to secure communications within IoT exist. Using a certificate-based mutual authentication means that each partner authenticates himself by using a certificate in order to verify who he is. Applying trusted computing technology enables the hardware status of the device to be taken into account during key creation. 